So, like I said, the mind is a tool. We are not our mind. We are not the physical body. We are not the soul. We are not the spirit. The I am, where our consciousness, the I am, which is beyond the mind and beyond these bodies, is our real self, our true self. You, know, you can even write that in here. I'll write that in. Boom. I am the real self. And our real self is just a light, a ray, an individual ray of light from the creator. I put light here, represent the light of the, the most high. Because out of all of this, this is the most high. The essence of the most high. And we are an individual ray of that light. You know, one way I always like to think about it, to help, you know, because this is, this is, you know, <laughs> this is third dimension. This is fourth dimension. This is fifth dimension. This is beyond that. So, you know, don't worry if you aren't able to really conceive what is being talked about here. But one thing that helps me to conceive it more, which through this perspective allows me to understand it in deeper, deeper ways, the more that I think about it and the more that I apply this perspective to different experiences that I have, and it further deepens the, my understanding of it. It's like, it's like you're, you're, you know, think about your pinky. You know, out here on the physical, you have your pinky. I mean, your your nail on your pinky. And then you have your hand. And then you have your arm and your torso. You know, but all of that is just, you know, my whole, you know, my whole, or, or the pinky, nail, the finger, the hand, and the arm, you know, is all just one extension out of my entire being. You know what I mean? I have another arm, another two legs. You know, I have hairs, I have all types of other parts. You know, out here in the physical, I'm just the pinky nail. What does my pinky nail really know about all the rest of the body, the organs, all, all, everything, everything else? You know, the non-physical parts of my body. You know, so don't worry if you can't really conceptualize all of this. But just, you know, understand that, you know, and, and like I said, you know, if you aren't able to, unless you've had an experience on any of this that we've gone over, then, you know, don't. Just hold it as a belief, a possibility. Just understand you just something you're either believing or not believing. Until you've actually had an experience of these things. You know, early on I'm in, in, in meditation, I had an experience of myself beyond this physical body, of myself beyond this so, uh, soul, and beyond my spirit as my true self. So I I know this to be true. You know, and then like I said, here in a second, we'll also describe annotation piece 